everybody and welcome back to a nice video today we're hopping into the eighth episode of the first season of chuck titled chuck versus the truth um so i just want to let you guys know i know i've said this in all my other shows that i am currently watching um that my allergies are going crazy uh right now so um like every every day when i wake up like I, I, there's just so much pressure everywhere on my head my ears my my head hurts my nose is stuffy my, my throat is is scratchy and swollen it's like it's bad like i feel fine everywhere else but these allergies are killing me um so i just want to let you guys know um that if i sound nasally or more nasally than i normally am or like i'm coughing or sniffling or sneezing like it's my allergies um there's really nothing i can do about it i took a whole bunch of medicine i'm feeling a little bit better but um yeah i just want to let you guys know um i'll probably also be um i have some hauls drops which are delicious these honey vanillas are really really good um, they taste delicious, but uh, if you see me, pro probably you will see me uh, have a couple of these in this episode so that um, I can avoid coughing as much as I can, but we'll see what happens. There's only so much I can do. So um, I just want to put out that disclaimer before I start, but I really hope it does not um, dis distract you from enjoying this episode and this reaction. So, um, now that that's out of the way, and we decided to hop into this next episode of Chuck, last one, we went back to Stanford, and we got to find out why, um, why Chuck was kicked out of Stanford, and it was because, uh, Bryce, his old roommate, uh, wanted to, um, not have him recruited by the CIA, so he got him kicked out, which... I'm like, oh, like, he was a good friend. Like, okay, he wasn't a bad guy, which is cool to see. Um, yeah, so that he was recruited anyway. So there's that. But I'm excited to hop into this episode. Um, I'm really enjoying the show so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, I'm just here for a laugh. I'm here for a good time. Hopefully it will distract me from the pain of these allergies that's going all throughout my head right now. So uh, I'm ready. To hop into this episode so if you want to see my full reaction you can head on over to my patreon page the link will be in the description below all right you can hang out right here on youtube that's fine just be sure that you like comment and subscribe that will really help with all the algorithms and to help grow the channel so thank you very much for all your support you guys are awesome uh so without further ado um i'm ready to get into this i'm ready to laugh i'm ready to have a good time so is grogu Grogu wants to get into this, so let's get into it. This is the eighth episode of the first season of Chuck, titled Chuck vs. The Truth. Let's go. Who are you? Poisoner, by trade. Poisoner? Do you know where the codes are? Yes. How did you make me do that? I keep pressing the button and nothing's happening. Is it full of charge? Oh my god! It's Rachel Bilson! What's Summer doing here? You know, I can't start from scratch. I can't. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm freaking out. Okay, okay. I see that. Uh, this is what I do, and I, I do it pretty good, so I'm not going to be so fucking mad. Okay. Uh, Sorry, what was that? Uh, you know, 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 I knew they were going to end up running into each other out here. At least figured that. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Got a flash, got a flash, got a flash. Top secret codes and all that shit. Well, there's an even better dude staring at you. I'm a little worried about our cover. I think it's time for us to make love. Okay, not really. Well, everybody's mentioning it, so I think, uh, top on it. Literally and figuratively. Yay! Oh god! <laughs> this lady is crazy. The ooh, the ooh. Nice, nice. I want the Chuck Barkowski. You know, you 
should come by the shop sometime and taste mm. it fresh. Taste it fresh. Mm. Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi. Sarah is Sarah is my girlfriend. Yeah, there you go. You should refrigerate that because it'd be a shame for the chuck to make you sick. Well, you didn't ask, so you just assumed he was single too. So. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to answer my questions, Doctor Bartowski. Not at all. Oh no, it's the poisoner. Yes, yeah, the poisoner! Just gonna move your hair back a bit. Oh, oh damn it! I know this is kind of uncomfortable. I'm fine, it's fine. It's just that we have to do it. I mean, not not do it. I got it. So we don't blow. I got it. Yeah, I'll yeah, right. Got it, got, got it. it, yeah. You just gotta make noise, I guess. Sarah and I, me and Sarah, that whole thing, it's really very... Complicated, yeah. It's complicated? Yeah. <laughs> ever gets less complicated, just let me know. Okay? Ooh, she getting jealous. Oh no. What the hell is he doing? Ellie, let me in. Yeah, hey. You do know we're just spending the night together for cover, right? Yeah. Yeah, why would I, why this is all for cover. It is all for cover. You give me crap about lighting some candles and you come in wearing that? This is exactly the girlfriend we wear to seduce her boyfriend. I am just being professional. Mm, yeah. Professional. The world's oldest profession. Wow, did you just call her a whore? What's up, what's up with the porno shorts? Really, they leave like nothing to the imagination. What is wrong with her? What's going on? Babe, your, uh, your mood tonight is super honest. Yeah, oh, the true serum. Okay, 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 yeah. What exactly are the rules with our, like, you know, our, Setup. our thing? Yeah. Can I go out with this really hot summer girl? I mean, You're interested in that blue girl, aren't you? Uh, is she drunk? No, she just got true serum. Words taste like peaches. Okay, we're gonna go now. What? This pajamas make you look like Dennis the Menace's father. Yep. She was poison. This is my sister we're talking about, all right? We can't just sit around and watch her die. They're not. They're not. They're they're trying. They're oh, trying. The only... I found the codes. I can't believe we're Mason Whitney hit him. I'm gonna keep him on the lady doctor until we can move him safely. Really? Uh, that guy's gonna come to us. Not bad, Bartowski. Do that ever again and I'll kill you. That's fair. That's fair. We're downstairs and got Ellie's sweater from Blocker. A lucky sweater. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna find it. There you Thanks, go. There you Sarah. go. There you go. There it is. There it is. Flash, 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 flash. Get him. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Let's go. Come on. Ellie. Oh, come on, you motherfuckers. You're better than that. Uh, I like option C, where no one is poisoned and you die. Oh, fuck. He just took a crutch? Ah, ah, ah. Stretch, stretch. There you go. I mean, do you need all of it? Or can it be spread around to other people? Like... Lived a pretty good life, you know? I mean, how many guys can say they landed a helicopter? That's true. Save the lives of innocent people. I mean, probably not many. members of the United States military. And the hay and the silver mm. line in this now, sure. I don't have to... Oh, is he gonna get the antidote? Or find out where he's at? Bad guy's name is Reardon Payne. Used to be an Olympic there you go. His knee. Now he sells hard to find items like nuclear codes to hard to find people. But... Do, 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 do. Toxic? Nice. God, you're so pretty. I mean, yes. It's a great chisel. <laughs> Actually, I was just about to enjoy a little antidote myself. Okay. Okay, what are you giving him? Uh, uh, careful there. I haven't killed anyone in a little while. I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, you first. Wait, 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 don't, don't, don't. That just no, doesn't make sense. Yeah, I was like, you guys are stupid for trusting him like that. Why is he just doing cart Oh, he's a gymnast, so, okay. Oh, right in the knee again. sportsman-like. I like it. Is this ever going anywhere? I'm sorry, Chuck. No. Oh, my heart breaks for him. Congratulations on a job well done. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Fuck! 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 fuck. No. Who's infiltrated the home theater? 
Oh, damn it. Good cover. I had no choice but to give Harry Tang the assistant manager position. Why? I felt so damn guilty about diddling his wife for the past <gasps> six months. Oh! No, I will not miss a man. <laughs> Yo! I dream about the Lady Tang. Today I want to start crossing things off of my list. And this is the first thing that I promised myself that I'd do. Can we kiss her? We need to break up. Oh, she looks sad. I just can't do this anymore, you know? When you were affected, you said anything to compromise yourself? Uh, no. If I hadn't been trained to withstand pentothal, I might have. Fuck. Yeah, I knew it. I was like, damn. She really does love him. All right, let's go to talk about it. Well, that was the eighth episode of the first season of Chuck, titled Chuck versus the truth and i really like this episode i thought it was fun it was funny um all the um everybody telling the truth everyone getting infected by this truth serum was um was really funny um i liked all that stuff um i like the fact that also i okay first of all i don't like seeing ellie sick and in the hospital and everything else but it was fun seeing chuck's two worlds like collide and i liked that aspect um of this episode and um a lot of it made sense um i was thinking because they brought in rachel bilson i was like she can't be a one episode like there's a reason they brought her in there's a reason she kept coming back so and now we know the reason so at least she'll be probably the next few episodes at least probably but she will not be low i'm sorry she's gonna be summer I i'm calling her summer i'm just i'm just telling you now um, but they were cute. They were really cute. They had great chemistry. Um, and yes, I agree with her. She, he's cute and he's funny and adorable and their height difference. Yeah. height. like, I, I know people say that like looks don't matter and things like that. And, and let's be real. Looks do matter. They're not like the big thing, but you do need to be attracted to somebody, uh, physically. But then also, like, for girls, for some reason, height difference is, like, a thing. And it really is. I don't know why, but it actually really is. So that was funny that she uh, mentioned that. But also, Rachel Bilson's, like, gay big. Um, but I love her. I love her so much. I loved her in the OC. Um, if you watch uh, my One Tree Hill videos, you know that um, I was a diehard The OC fan when it was out. Um, so this made me very excited to have Rachel Wilson back on my screen. I'm so excited. Um, but I liked her character, so that was cool. Um, and it made sense that they would break up, so to speak. But when, when, uh, Sarah said no, that there could be nothing going for it, I was like, somehow I think either she wasn't poisoned or she has some sort of immunity or something because... Come on now. He's adorable. And you guys have great chemistry. Come on. But so I wasn't surprised when they revealed that um, that she built up an immunity to the poison. So she was not telling the truth. The plot thickens. So, um, but I mean, you got to have, you got to have the angst, man. You got to have the will they, won't they angst in these things. Um, but it's good. It, it, it's really good. I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was fun. I thought it was funny. I loved the whole thing with Tang. And at the very end, when um, when they ended up like sending him off to like Hawaii. Hilarious. I loved it. It was so good. Um, oh, yeah. Did not see the twist of the uh, manager being the one that was banging Tang's wife for the last like six months. So there's that. Um so I wonder if the whole thing with Tang, I wonder if it was like they only had him in contract for a little bit or he wanted to leave or what that was all about. Because generally it's something behind the scenes when a character randomly leaves and it's not like a season finale. I'm like, interesting. Um, I wonder what was with all of that. But or maybe he just wasn't working. Like, I thought he was fine. I thought he fit in with the Buy More crowd just fine. So, I don't know. If you guys know what was going on or if it's just they decided to do it, just to do it. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. 
like I said, um, decent episode. I'm still surprised, though, that it was Chuck that had to be the one that, no, we're not going to drink the antidote first. Like, I think that would be pretty self-explanatory to have the bad guy be the one that drinks the poison first, like, or the antidote first, like, all right. Um, but I will say it was really funny of awesome trying to get, uh, Chuck some action, trying to get Chuck laid, which is hilarious. Um, I love that. So I guess now, I guess I'm curious to see how they're going to explain having Sarah around Chuck while he's dating Summer. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic. There's a little triangle they got going on. And of course she's going to get super jealous and I, I'm looking forward to that. That's for sure. So um, like I said, fun episode. This is just a fun show. I love it. And I hope you guys are enjoying my reactions to it as well. So if you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'm going to have the link in the description below or hang out right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next episode.